If you are doing intermittent fasting and when you open up that, inter that eating window and you just eat junk and you're not aware of little things like minerals and trace minerals, then that switch over to fat burning is gonna be more difficult. That's why this is so important. Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna dive into trace minerals. Now, this is really important for those of us that are trying to use fasting as a tool for weight loss, and I'll explain why. And if you are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I'm on a mission. We are gonna end chronic disease by teaching every human on this planet how to build a fasting lifestyle. So I just wanna start off by saying welcome, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so you get notified when I put out a new video or I go live. And those of you who share these videos out, you guys know how I feel about you. Just absolutely love being on this journey with you. Now, this is not a topic I've talked about with you guys much, and it's so important. It's like what we call one of those little pieces, uh, like a nuance that we've got to look at when we say, hey, fasters lose minerals. Well, yes, they do, we do, but we also need to look a little deeper and ask ourselves, what minerals are we losing? I did a video on that, the one that came before this, and how do we start to add them back in? So go back and watch the video I did before this one. I talked about the major essential minerals. This video, we're gonna talk about some minor minerals or some less essential minerals, but are still necessary. They are categorized under the heading of trace minerals. So here's what you need to know. Trace minerals do several things in your body. And by the way, these trace minerals are like your copper, your chromium, your manganese, your iron, your iodine, those are trace minerals. And the reason that they're so important is the body doesn't make them. So you have to get them from an outside source. And they are incredibly helpful for things like hormone production. So all hormones, everything from progesterone to cortisol, we need, or, or even insulin, we need to have a good balance of these minerals. They also help with carbohydrate and protein and uh, cholesterol metabolism which means they break those, those things down so they're more usable for you. They also are important for immune function and they protect your cells from long-term damage. So there's a lot here that we need to be aware of when we look at these trace minerals. Now here's the challenge we have. We used to be able to get trace minerals from our foods. So if you had a, a head of broccoli, it was grown in soil, you eat that broccoli, you would have a broccoli that's packed with these trace minerals. But because our soils have been so over monocropped, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, please go watch a documentary called Kiss the Ground. But because our soils are so depleted of minerals, these mineral deficiencies are starting to show up. So with this one, what's fascinating, went dove into some research that they are showing that the trace minerals, not the major ones, the trace minerals, are not only are they depleted in our soil, but they're in abundance in our oceans. So they believe that there is this water washing that's happening that is moving all these minerals, specifically trace minerals, into our oceans. So anything from the ocean right now is going to be high in these trace minerals. So I'm really excited to show you some of the products that we're using to bring these minerals back into to my diet and to my family's diet. Now, how would you know if you're low in minerals? I think this is really important because I'm giving you a general picture here, but we're all different. So I would say that the big three uh, symptoms that we see are brain fog, fatigue and constipation and trouble losing weight. So I'm gonna call it those four. If you have those four going into fasting and those four amplify, they get worse as you start fasting, there's a good chance you need to add these trace minerals back in. Now, when we add them back in, the most important time to add them back in obviously is when you're eating. Although I do wanna point out, I got sent this today from Redmond Sea Salt. And you tell me if you would do this. They are little salt licks that you lick when you're fasting. They're not gonna pull you out of a fasted state. And they add, start to add these electrolytes and minerals, including trace minerals, back in. 
So this is an, an interesting option for in the middle of your actual fasting window. But when I'm working with a patient, I really like to focus in on how we can use the foods they eat to support the fast they're leaning into. So when you are eating, you're gonna need to lean into some mineral rich foods. And let me tell you what they are. First, you're gonna lean into any food that is from the sea, from the ocean. So, you know, all your seafood, um, you know, salts that are coming out of the ocean, they're all great. The thing you're gonna to wanna to be aware of is that you're gonna to need to go to products like Redmond's that have already pulled out the, top, the plastics because our ocean is very packed with plastics. So why I'm a fan of Redmond Sea Salt is that they have already done the work for us. We can guarantee that they're plastic free. So if you want a link to Redmond's, just put sea salt in the comments and my team will give it to you. So anything from the sea, seafood's a great one. Anything fermented. Are you seeing a trend? I love fermented foods. So all your sauerkrauts, your kimchi, those gonna be rich in these uh, trace minerals. Pasture-raised eggs, bone broth, vegetable broth, olives, grass-fed meats. These, this is great news for us because these are foods that if we eat in our eating window are going to not only give us these minerals back, they're gonna keep us in a ketogenic state, but they're gonna make fasting so much easier. So we just have to be aware of it and go, gosh, I need to get more salt. Now I mentioned this in the last video, but it's worth repeating. Doesn't sodium, doesn't salt raise your blood pressure? And the answer is no. It only does it when insulin is out of control. So you, if you know your insulin is good, you don't have a high hemoglobin A1C, you're not diabetic, you're not pre-diabetic, and you wanna bring this into your eating window, it's a phenomenal way to start to bring these trace minerals back, bring the main minerals back, and you're not gonna raise blood pressure. So I talked about that on the last video. I also have a podcast with Dr. J David Jockers where I, we break that down, so you can hear it from him talk about that as well. Okay, last concept I wanna say, I don't want you to miss this. Here's the key and why I'm bringing these little tiny things into your fasting lifestyle is I want you to be a better fat burner. And how you become a better fat burner is by being a better sugar burner. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, you are burning energy from sugar anytime your blood sugar goes up. You are burning energy from fat anytime your blood sugar goes down. So when we are eating, if we are eating good foods, we are adding these minerals back, this helps us regulate our blood sugar, which will make it easier for us to go over and start to burn fat quicker. If you are doing intermittent fasting and when you open up that eating window and you just eat junk and you're not aware of little things like minerals and trace minerals, then that switch over to fat burning is gonna be more difficult. That's why this is so important. The name of the game of fasting for weight loss, for overcoming chronic disease, is we've gotta be better sugar burners and we gotta to get to fat burning much quicker. And we've gotta learn how to get in and out. So adding in something as simple as putting salt on your food or doing a, a salt lick, licking, licking salt crisp, crystals, you know, in, while you're in your fasted state, these little hacks can be phenomenal for making you a better fat burner. As always, let me know if that helps. And a couple things I wanna tell you, you can get these Redmond sea salts, just put sea salt in the comments and we'll, we'll send you a link. I also found a really cool product that I'm excited about that has not only trace minerals in it, but amino acids, which also fasters need, and it's called Perfect Aminos. The Watermelon Zen is my favorite. So know that that's also an option. Just put amino acids in the link and my team will, or in the comments, my team will send a link. And if you love this and you want more hacks, let me know. For starters, I read your comments. Let me know if you want more hacks and a little tricks like this. There's also a great video I did called Hacks That Make Intermittent Fasting Easier. And as always, put your fasting win in the comments. Tell me how fasting has changed your life. I am on a mission and you guys are on that mission with me. So I wanna make sure that you put your comments in there. It really helps people. They come to my channel, they read the comments, they get inspired and you can make a difference in these people's lives. So thank you so much for all your positive comments. And as always, I hope that helps. Cheers to some salt licking.